What is going on guys? Hope you're well wherever you are, whatever the time and welcome back to another episode of Why Not Me and today is show day number two. UK DFBA Heart of England show, the first time I've stepped on a UK DFBA stage since 2021. I'm very excited, I'm tanned, ready to go and ready for my night out. <laughs> I'm literally just about to go to the gym just to check in with AJ. Across the entirety of this peak week I've been checking in with him fasted at the gym just because the lighting is just so much more consistent than my flat. Uh, I also done some photos yesterday post-workout after my last workout which was a pool session and I'm at my best ever, 100%. There's still obviously room for me to get better as we plan to go into the finals. But honestly, so far this prep, I, I can't explain how smooth this process has been. If I have people telling me how joyful I seem and happy and, and whatnot, it's like one side of that is obviously I love bodybuilding and the process of prepping. The other side of it is this prep has been very smooth. That is been attributed down to the people around me 100%. Bryony, my coach, my friends, family, etc., just have made this process incredible and a lot easier. But yeah, this morning weighed in at 96.5 kilos, which is exactly the same body weight I was at the BMBF Midland show. I am leaner, uh, significantly leaner. I got to a lower body weight of 94. Something I'm gonna have to double check and I'll put it on the screen. Prior to the BNBF Midlands, I wasn't that light, and then we've spent the week pretty much linear loading. I literally just done a video on that. Gonna head to the gym, take some photos, and then get meal one. And we got a lot to do today. Let me just show you my list. Yeah, as you can see, show day here. Need to meal prep, get my backstage drink ready. I need to pack my trunks or my thong, bands, and a dumbbell glaze. That is the plan for today. As soon as I get back from the gym and I've taken my photos, I'm gonna get meal one ready. Ready and I also need to get my salt and water intake ready for the day. See you in a bit. Right, we're back from checking in with AJ. He's extremely happy with the look. Definitely a lot fuller as the week has progressed, which is great. Just a slight change to food. So um, obviously the plan today was still to eat a good amount of food just to hold that fullness because I will be competing quite later in the day. Um, but the first meal was supposed to be 150 grams of cream of rice and the, the third meal third meal yeah the third meal uh, was supposed to be um, also some cream of rice as well which is, which was going to be 150 grams and it's just so much food volume so we dropped that volume down the touch and replaced some of the cream of rice with honey so my first meal is a little bit smaller and so is my third meal as well just so that i'm not bloated on stage and, and looking like just some fat guy with abs like you don't, we don't want that so to keep that midsection control food volumes just down a little bit i also had to measure out my salt for the day on my little drug dealer scale so i'm now having five grams of added salt to meals that's not including salt that i use for seasoning like chicken and mints that kind of thing that that stuff stay pretty consistent throughout prep and i also need to get my water ready as well um, i'm going to be having a good amount of water i think i'll probably have maybe about four liters three liters before i go on stage uh, again i don't want to drink too much water because again i don't want to be peeing on stage i don't want to feel bloated but at the same time you can't not drink water because you are water you need water if you want to look full you want to look like you're good to go on stage, you need to be drinking water. Not the most appetizing meal, but we have 120, 120 grams of cream of rice, 40 grams of honey, and we have 30 grams of whey protein. Protein's down a little bit today. And we have 20 grams of almond butter because I don't have any dark chocolate left. So um, first meal going down, I'm gonna have this, get a few things ready, get my food prepped for the day, and then we will head to rugby. I think that's pretty much it. I haven't really got too much else to do um it's just making sure that i've got everything you don't want to get to the venue and be like fuck i forgot so i'm gonna eat this and then i'll see you in a bit all right guys we're backstage uh it's i've just been watching the show to be honest with you um because of my height uh, and usually weight as well i end up being like at the back end of the show so it ends up being a super long day uh, i'm chilling with Bryony, her mum, and my mum. what a way to meet at a bodybuilding show yeah and my sister's here etc so uh yeah all good just chilling literally now it's just a waiting game i've eaten four meals so i've taken in all my food water's gone down i've drank about two liters i've got my pump aid with me there's not really much else to film honestly guys like i'm sure Bryony will get some footage on stage um and then i'll do a little walk through the day after the show but i'm literally chilling backstage and i also just want to focus on just 
staying like stress free. So it's been a great show so far. <laughs> yes. She's shy because she's around people. It's all right. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys after the show. So judges, 84, 86, 87, 93, 94. 94, can I just have you put the inches over to that side, that's perfect. Lat spread. So chest general please. Anybody in the audience fancy giving these fellas some support? Turn the face to the rear. Turn the face to the rear, show a calf, double voice set. Lean back. Yes. Yeah. Last word, gentlemen, please. Come on. Side tricep for several, please. Okay, gentlemen, relax on. Hello, ladies and gents, is number 94. He comes from yes. James Jim in Bedford. Please welcome Elliot Gibson. Let's go, Chuck! Let's go! Yes! Question. to finish off today's bodybuilding with all of you in good shape big lads it's what bodybuilding is all about round of applause please uh, yeah. this gentleman, this gentleman. Yeah. results are in and will be announced very shortly but for the final time in the divisions today uh, it's time to just have 60 seconds to yourself hit your favorite Come on, poses Elliot. see off your uh, your friends and fans in the audience when you hear the music guys let's pose down Trophy, please, Pete. We're going to award the top three. And the good news is, or the bad news, if you were sick of dieting, that you've got three more weeks to do because all three of the trophy winners today will be invited to the finals. And the first of those qualifications goes to our third place winner today. Third place, Pete, can you take that award and present it to number 93, Ian Henry. Your runner-up, also qualifying for the finals, your runner-up today, number 86, Jay Bennett. Let's go! Let's go! Which leaves your winner, tall class Let's champion go. for 2023, number 94, Elliot Gibson. Yeah. Let's go. 
Okay, number 31. You go this end, please. 31. No, no, thir 31. At the back. Clifton. Far end, please, Mike. Get wide. There we go. 26, David, to the other end. Let's go, David. Let's go. Okay, 41, Phil, to this end, please. Taper him round a little bit. Let's go, double biceps. Don't worry about crossing your elbows over, gentlemen. We're not looking at your elbows. We're looking at your muscles. Don't wrestle elbows, it's really annoying. Lat spread, please. Come on! Yeah! Side chest, gentlemen, side of your choice. Turn and face the rear, gentlemen. Show a calf double biceps. Stay on the line. Hamstring. Yes. Go on. Black spread. Yes. So triceps, gentlemen, please. Gentlemen, relax, face forwards. 52, 94, switch. Come on! McDonald's and Thomas, gentlemen. General, please finish with your most muscular. Come on! Let's go, General. Gentlemen, for the final time tonight and for the title, overall champion of the Art England Championships. When you hear the music, let's punch Get down. to the front! Yeah! Yeah! Come on! The overall presentation. And, uh, and of course, only right we bring our main event sponsor back on stage to present the, uh, the first overall title of the, the day. Of the gentleman that was introduced to you before, United Kingdom World European Champion, Senior World Silver Medalist, Olympia Bronze Medalist and Director of Natural Bodybuilding Worldwide, ladies and gentlemen, Alexander A.J. Morris. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, seven judges at the table. It's nice a six call. to one vote. How do I look? You roll in. Okay. So it is the day after the show and I thought I would give my thoughts. Yesterday's show, how do I feel? I feel like I should be I feel like I should be happier than what, what I am about the result. I won my class, which is great, and I've actually got two wins this season, which I've like this season was my first win. The last time I competed I didn't even win a show, I got second place. So I should be happy with that, but I'm just I am. Yeah. 
I've won the cat the classes, but I just won the overall. But the guy who won the overall in this show looked really good. But last year, I bet you were saying, I just want to win the class. Yeah, that's exactly. the thing. I don't think I'll ever be happy. <laughs> Yeah, I won the um, I won the the tall class. There was five of us. I think one guy didn't even show up. They were like uh, number ninety ninety two. Six, and then they only called five. Yeah, like one guy just didn't even show. But yeah, I feel like the class. I sh I should be winning my class. I just feel like I have that caliber of physique. Not even to sound very cocky, but I feel like I should be at that top end of the class anyway. So now the next goal is to win an overall. The guy who won the overall is so sharp. He's only he just turned nineteen recently i think and he looks incredible so props to him and his coach finn kelly who's also he's a great coach yeah he's just sharper i have the muscularity and i should not be losing to people like that i shouldn't be losing to people like that because you'll see from the footage how much bigger i am than him but he's just so much sharper a little bit more balanced in his physique so um, i know that i can beat him if i just get leaner so that's the goal this week i am actually gonna i'm gonna check in with aj tomorrow we checked in this morning i'm 96.6 so i'm 0.1 kg up from yesterday um, but we're gonna push very very hard this week i actually i'm gonna ask aj if we can push harder like just drop my food low let's get me to like because i got the bmbf finals in six days so i'm on peak week now just dig me hard just, just take a lot of food away drop down see if we can get to like 93 kilos this week i think for the uh finals for the last show i'll probably have to be maybe 95 94 kilos on stage or like prior like maybe 93 or 92 kilos prior to loading carbs this show day i was 96 and a half and i felt good i felt great but like i said it just needs to be a little bit leaner but overall a really good show bmbf next week which of course i will get filmed and then the last show which Bryony, i'm sure is excited to hear is in 20 days 19 days tomorrow 19 days left of prep like that's crazy i've been prepping since march yeah uh it's gonna be good to give back to everyone that's given to me during this prep and do more things you know what i mean so anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there is that camera on me yeah. i've been using some new skincare called environ what do you guys think make sure you like the video subscribe and i'll see you next time